From the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, the Liberty Flames get a win today over the Georgia State Panthers. Liberty holds on 41-33, the final score. My name is Nick Pierce alongside Matt Kamiri. The Flames move to 3-2 and two now on the season. It's their second win in as many years over a Sun Belt opponent. They're now 2-0 and oh against that conference, and Liberty also with its fourth all-time win against an FBS program. And Matt, Flames made have sweat this one out a little bit there at the end of the ball game, but you got to make you got to give the Flames credit. They made plays at the end of the game when it mattered to win. They absolutely did, Nick. John Lunsford with the big field goal and then Chris Turner with the interception to seal the game. Great plays to end the game and to seal up the victory. Yeah, Chris Turner with the uh, interception there to essentially wrap things up. And then Lunsford also with a field goal of 56 yards, his 11th field goal from more than 50 yards out. No hesitation there from Turner Gill, it seemed like, to, to go for it either. No, you know, in the radio booth we commented and said, Lunsford seems more comfortable from 50 yards, and he nailed it. It was a great kick, probably was good from 66. Yeah, and he did it indoors as well. You know, that had to help the help matters also here. How about Josh Woodrum today? 239 yards passing, also ran for another 46. We saw that option play come back out that the Flames had so much success with a year ago. Yeah, it really opened up our run game today. It allowed for DJ and the other running backs to get loose. Uh, Dez had three touchdowns, but Josh made some great plays cutting it back sort of like a zone play once he saw there was nothing around the edge for the option. No doubt about that. The Flames today as far as a total offense, over 500 yards of that, and then had 263 yards on the ground running the football here today. Really good to see this offense get back to the run game. And after the game, we had a chance to catch up with the head coach of the Flames, Turner Gill, and get his thoughts on how the Flames were able to pull it out today. Well, our guys got great resilience, uh, great resolve. Um, the week, uh, this week, our word of the week was resolve. Uh, it was talking about doing something about it. You know, we always can talk, we always can do something, but it was something to stand up and, and do something about it. And our guys did that. The running game got going. Uh, our guys made some plays when they had, had the opportunity to do that. Great job by Chris Turner there at the end there to uh, finish the game. So, again, the Flames wrap up the non-conference portion of their season with a win here today in Atlanta. And then you talk about the defense. Certainly some not-so-pretty things that they're going to see on tape from early in the ball game as far as the secondary goes. But down the stretch, the D-line made some big plays. We'll talk about Chris Turner in the secondary with the interception. But how about the – sacks here today for the Flames on defense. Three of them for 32 yards and then one big leap. You know, Nick, we always talk about sealing the game, and the D-line did that tonight. Juwan Wells with a 16-yard sack of Arbuckle. The next play, the interception by Chris Turner. The D-line consistently had pressure on Arbuckle, who's in a spread system, and if there's pressure, you can disrupt that spread. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what you have to do, I think, in that situation. You can't let him sit back there and get comfortable, kind of like what he was doing in the first half. The first half, I think he threw for 349 yards or something crazy like that, and he had a lot of deep balls, quick deep balls. Uh, once the D-line stepped it up, and the secondary just followed suit right, in between, right behind him. I think one thing that also hurt Georgia State here today is no run game. The Flames shut that down, held them just 11 yards on the ground. Absolutely. you got to have one to help the other. That's what the <laughs> Flames were able to do today uh, in their offensive game plan. We didn't see that from Georgia State. That's what happens when you become one-dimensional in a spread offense. Gauge this win here for Liberty. Obviously an FBS opponent, fourth win ever over an FBS program. Do it against the Sun Belt team. What's that locker room like? It's electric, especially coming off of a victory or a loss last week that you thought you should have won. And then you come here and do this to this team. I mean, it's, it's a great team victory. We saw the, the game plan was evident. They wanted to come out and dominate as much as they could. Offense played great. Defense in the first half, they locked it down in the second half. I mean, it was an all-around team win. The, the locker room has got to be electric. I've been looking forward to the flight home. Yeah, no doubt about that. The Flames will take the show on the road again for a third straight week. Next Saturday, Liberty travels to Gardner-Webb to open Big South Conference play. That will be a 7 o'clock kickoff. And, oh, by the way, another opponent coming off an open date with another week to prepare for the Liberty Flames. We'll see if the Flames are up to the challenge here next week as we head to Boiling Springs. For Matt Camary, I'm Nick Pierce. In Atlanta, Liberty Flames win at 41-33 over Georgia State.